when it comes to battery charging one slot is is good don't get me wrong especially when it's an 8s two slots when it's a 6s is getting better but what if i told you my daily charger charges four 6s batteries all at the same time this bad boy is something else let's go over to the desk and take a look and a comparison at the other two as to just how good this thing is let's go this is the sky rc q200 neo 200 watt four port ac dc battery charger and as you can see on the desk it's not much bigger than the toolkit rc ones but what it does provide us with is the ability to charge four lipos up to 6s at once and i will say that you can also mix and match that as well so there's been many times where i've charged say a 4s lihv a 6s a 3s lipo all at the same time without any problems whatsoever it's also got a really cool android and i assume iso app as well but i'd never like to assume when it comes to uh, apple and, and iso because let's be fair you don't get the same level of functionality now if we switch through each battery we can see that c so this one is actually at 4.17 volts across all cells d which is this one is at 3.84 a is at 3.79 and B is at 3.94. So what we're gonna do, first of all, is we're gonna go to C, we're gonna push in the dial and it brings up this little menu here. It asks us what type of battery it is, but we know it's a LiPo. It will automatically de detect the number of cells and it asks us what we wanna do with it. So we can either balance charge it, charge it, put it to storage charge or discharge it. And I'm gonna put it to storage charge. It then says what condition or what voltage do you want to go to storage and you can then select between 3.9 and 3.75 3.85 is of course the optimum it then says what your charge current wants to be which because this is a 1350 we've got it set to 1.4 and what your discharge rate wants to be so we'll start that now there has been an update recently where you can select that you want it to do the same thing across all the channels but i'm going to say no for now just to show you the differences so that's now discharging to storage voltage and if we go over to a because i think that was the one with the lowest we will then change that or we'll leave that at balance charge it's a 1.5 but we'll keep it at 1.4 and we'll get that charging as well go to b and then we're going to put this one to storage charge And then we'll go to D, which is actually at storage voltage. So we'll do nothing with that one. And then if we press it, we can see we've got a list then of what each one of the, the cell or each one of the batteries is doing. By pressing the port button, you can then go into each one and see exactly what's happening. Now, if we go into this one and we can actually see the, the resistance but obviously we're discharging it, so we're going to see no resistance again, so cells. Now it is going to get a little bit noisy because it's discharging two 6S batteries at the same time whilst balance charging one as well. It's a very small price to pay to keep it nice and cool and to keep it nice and safe. The ability to be able to do this with four different batteries all at the same time cannot be understated the the toolkit rc on the left here which is an 8s charger is the only 8s charger that i've got now i do have an 8s battery coming and we're going to build an 8s drone so without this i would be completely screwed this particular one over here only charges up to two 6s at once it's nice it's got the led functionality and it does really, really help you understand exactly what is going on. But you can only do two at once. This lets you do four all at the same time. It's probably slightly more expensive than this, but it's cheaper than buying two of these or one of these and one of these and still only having three. But like I say, it does have its negative points as well. It will only charge up to 6s it won't go to 8s like the one on the left but then again the one on the left will only charge one cell at once 
Okay, so now if we take a look at the Android app, in fact, let me just start screen recording this so we can see that and this. When you go to click on it, you may actually get, it may only be for the first time, it may not. Sometimes it'll give you a little code on the screen that you've got to enter into the app, but actually it's let me straighten the app without any problems. And I'll synchronize up the app to this, but what you can see on the app is exactly what you can see on the screen. So if we go to channel C, and go to channel C there. We can see, I've gone to the wrong one. I completely confused myself then as to why the figures were not matching up. But we can see there, look, the figures do actually match up to exactly what's on the app and what's on the screen. This charger really is so super convenient. You can monitor the temperatures, you can monitor the voltage, the capacity, the duration, and in an emergency, if you needed to press stop and you're not right at, the, at it, but you was monitoring this, you can actually stop. And as you can see on the screen now, it has actually stopped that charging. And I believe if I do this, I can then start it going again. And there we go. So you can stop it and you can start it from there. That's the first time I've ever done that, by the way. So. Uh, I amazed myself that I managed to, to do something. But we'll stop that because we'll go to storage. And again, it's going to ask us the same thing. So charging currency relevant, really, because we know that it has to discharge to get to the uh, the voltage that we're asking it to get to. So that's the that's the app. You can, like I say, you can see the temperature of each cell. You can see the health of each cell. And exactly what action is being taken place or you can go to one where there is no action like on channel d and then you can make some action take place well that's at 3.85 we don't really want to mess with that there is like i say a fan at the back of it to keep it cool and to keep it safe and it's a little bit noisier than the others but i'll be honest it's not what i'd consider to be particularly noisy or off-putting in any way shape or form what we'll do now is we'll stop these lipos charging and storage charging and discharging and we'll have a look around the charger itself a bit closer at a bit more detail to see exactly what you'll be getting for your money and whether or not it's going to be worth it let's go so taking a look around the back of the charger there and you can see that big fan that we heard before kicking in to really keep it nice and cool you're not going to have any overheating issues here it can also be charged from an xt60 as we can see here or a two-pronged ac plug up between 100 and 240 volts comes in this lovely purple hang on a second let me just move that around it comes in this lovely purple color and that's the back of the control uh, of the controller of the, the charger let's move around so this is port a on the left hand side as you were to look at the charger you can see it also has the marking for the 200 watt ac adapter there so you know which side to go in there is your your balance plugs and your xt60 you can use it with an adapter as well to step down to an xt30 and that'll charge without any problems at all and you can see on the side case in there the letter a is imprinted in uh, in raised font in the actual plastic itself if you needed to find where a b c or d is in the dark i'm not sure why you would but it's there anyway so around the front of the charger it's very similar you've got b and c you've got two balance ports in the middle for each one and then you've got two xt60s on either end to help you fit four lipos in at once and i have demonstrated it obviously with four 6s lipos in at the same time and i picked four of the sort of thickest packs that i've got to show you that it's not too much of a problem there are other chargers i think i've got um i'm not sure who made it but it's one where all of the ports are on the front and actually getting four in at once because it raises it all up is a real issue whereas this not a problem whatsoever as demonstrated already Moving on to the right hand side, we can see the port D, we can see the balance port, we can see the XC60. We can also see the DC input as well, but there is also on here a USB-C 3.0 charger as well. So you can charge your phone in the field 
nice and quick. Or your camera, as I have done on numerous occasions recently, using this and power banks and all sorts of things to get myself out of a hole that I've got in because I didn't have enough charge on things. Speaking of which, the external monitor on this is about to die. So let's go and have a quick look at the screen. So the screen is exactly as we've seen before. You've got the port button at the top to switch between A, B, C and D. And then you've got your dial to start, stop and to change your settings. It's a, it's a lovely metal rotary dial. Feels really nice in the hand. And of course, as you can see on the screen, it does tell you that you've also got that Bluetooth connectivity as well that we've already had a look at when it came to the app. And then just quickly on the top of the charger, you do have this sticker as well, which tells you AC 200 watt, DC 400 watt, uh, and then a 20 watt USB-C power distribution port. Quadruple the power. This really is a very, very versatile charger. The one thing it doesn't have is wireless charging. Do I miss it? Not really. Would I use it if even if it had it? Probably not. Um, Oh, does it have wireless charging? I better check, actually. I don't think it does. Um, I do know that one charger I've got does have wireless charging, and I never use it. So take that as you may. So if you're in the market for a new charger and you don't want to sit around waiting for two batteries to charge and two batteries to charge, and you're only going to use 6S batteries or 6S cells, then realistically, this SkyRC Neo, what is it? Q200 Neo, should I say is going to be the one that you're going to want to pick up. Like, yeah, like I say, it is going to be slightly more expensive than the other options out there. But also at the same time, it's going to be less expensive than buying two that only do half of the amount of work in the same time. In the few weeks and months that I've been testing this, I've had no problems charging four at once, charging a 3S, a 4S and a 6S all at the same time. LIHV, LiPo, there's all different types of batteries that it will charge within there without any problems at all. It really is a fantastic little charger. I'll obviously leave a link down below in the description. This isn't a sponsored video. This is actually something that's self-funded and that has been in my bag for a while now. And I think I thought it was the time to bring it to you because I wasn't sure exactly how good something like this could be at the price it was at. So I really wanted to give it a good few months testing. We've done that. This is the one. <laughs>